Hey guys, I'm Neil. I play bass for Estelle Dior and I joined the group a few months ago. I had an audition with the band, uh, with a different band um, in the area a year ago. It was a cover band and I was kind of in limbo on what I wanted to do for the summer basically. I wasn't taking that too seriously, that audition. But I did it and realized I wasn't a cover band musician. I uh, never really was. So basically it didn't really work out, but thankfully the person in that group contacted Justina and I got a random uh, message on Facebook uh, looking for a bass player and it's worked out ever since. I think all of us were extremely relieved when we found Neil. It took us a really long time to find that right bass player for us. Yeah, I guess the main challenge is that we had trying to change band members or getting uh, band members to learn the songs is just that learning the parts. You know, obviously with with new lineups, there's always going to be some kind of downtime. It's hard to stay in tune with what your goal is because you never think you're going to find somebody that's going to fit that position, either as good as the person that you had or that's going to mesh with you guys well. I feel like the bass has been the most difficult part or puzzle piece to fit into this band. And it's really hard to find, you know, a great one. It's always, you know, easy to find a good one, but it's never easy to find a great one. And the parts that our last original bass player wrote, they were pretty, um, they were pretty out there. Not, not in a bad way, but like they were really interesting parts that were really hard for someone else to kind of come in and pick up. I'm trying to find somebody to fill those shoes and that can play, you know, that good, it's, it's real tough. And Neil did that, like, no problem. I mean, he picked up our songs and literally learned them in like a week and a half. You know, parts that I never thought people would learn that quickly. Or parts that are just so offbeat bare-ass that you're like, okay, are we ever gonna find a bass player to pick these songs up? And then Neil comes in, and on the first day, he's getting these abstract parts just by listening to them. You know, and remembering too, that, that's the hardest thing as well, is making sure you can actually play them and then remember them when the time comes for it. I wanted to join this band um, pretty, pretty much instantly when I heard the CD. Uh, I thought it was you know, top of line quality. I was really impressed by the vocals and backup vocals and the energy that the music brought. And he's got a very strong jazz background and uh, he's able to kind of bring that into the rock genre. It was a pretty, pretty easy transition playing the songs, I just wanted to make sure that I could produce what I heard on the CD to come out live because I want our live shows to sound better than our CD. Hopefully going forward, since he is a new addition to the band, we'll be able to bring more of that into our songwriting. I definitely think our songwriting is going to change with Neil and the band. Um, and I'm excited to hear his aspects when we start you know, writing new songs. And all that. Naturally when you bring in different people, things you know start taking on different sound or whatever. But we do, however, want to make things sound consistent, so we do sound like the same band. It's just having a fourth voice in everything. Um, having someone else that we have to kind of satisfy with the music, you know, just like we have with other band members in there. Um, but Neil's also a little bit more vocal, so I'm, I'm actually happy to have another member in there to give his opinion and, and bring us to the next level. So I'm not sure how exactly, in, in terms of the music style, it's going to change. Um, but I'm excited to see where we go with it. So it's really cool um, to have that. And you know, whatever the journey takes us on, that's cool.